This is one of them videos that you don't want to take. I launched it from that beach right there. You can see it in the sun. And uh, I flew for about 45 seconds. And um, I flew out away from the beach, out this direction. And I did a 180 and came back, flying toward the beach, looking at the beach. And all of a sudden, I received a, uh, a high wind warning. Then immediately after that, I received a warning that said my props were spinning too fast. Then the next warning I got was forced landing. And I tried everything I could do, but the controller was completely unresponsive. I manipulated all the controls that I knew of, and then I hit the return to home button because I only had about 15 seconds before it was supposed to land. So when I hit the return to home button, nothing happened. And splash down. So I'm out here the next morning. We looked till sunset last night. And out here the next morning looking for it. The one thing I'm not certain of, that the drone weighs 249 grams. The battery is kind of heavy, so I'm thinking the drone would went right to the bottom. But there's about a, uh, I'm guessing, watch this, about a third of a knot current. It's not, you know, that cup's going to prove me wrong. Over in this direction, there's a little bit stronger current going that way as the tide goes out. And I'm just wondering if the the drone didn't drag across the bottom. It's not that strong of a current, but I don't know. So the search continues. The last known fix I had on the on the uh, monitor as the drone went down was was right about here that I was triangulating. This, the point of this building with the stanchion is one, two, three, four, and then three fours down. So this is about right here, is where the drone went down, based on the last photograph taken. But it's not here. And just what do you do when you discover your drone cannot swim? You buy another drone. Upgrade. The D J. Mavic Mini 2. It doesn't come with a nice suitcase like the uh, Mavic Mini 1 had, a carrying bag. And I think the reason for that is because the flight controller is a bit larger. Than the old than the Mavic Mini 1. See, it's larger. So that's that. There's the batteries. Here's the drone. And cables. It's a nice little bag. Hmm. Shoulder strap. Okay, here's the battery charger. Charging adapter, more cables. That's all there is. Supposed to be three batteries here. There's a battery in the drone. Comes with a, uh, a handy little uh, prop tie down. I guess the prop secures the props. So you don't lose your props during travel. Cool. Time to get in the air.